The Delhi Development Authority or DDA has cleared the land pooling policy. This is an important and critical development for boosting the housing supply in a city which is reeling under price increases and shortage of affordable homes. Private developers will also now be allowed to work closely with the group of landowners and DDA which will provide the infrastructure for developing new townships literally that's what it's spoken about. Key highlights of this uh, policy, let's take a quick look at it before I go to my panel and figure out what exactly does it mean for all the buyers in Delhi waiting to get a home of their own. First of all, consolidating land parcels from group of owners. Now, this could be, of course, a group of farmers as well. Collective ownership rights will rest with the DDA. DDA will be in charge of infrastructure development. And, of course, there's a proposal that this is not going to be held. There will be a single window clearance. All stakeholders will come together and make sure that the process moves fast. Norms for land pooling. Part of the developed land will be returned to the landowners. And this, again, like I said, could be farmers who've been very agitated over the past thing that they haven't got fair price for the land that they've given for development. FAR of 400... Uh, for group housing, that's another important point. We'll discuss whether this FAR is enough or not. And 15% land for EWS homes. So these are some of the key points of the land pooling policy. Ramesh Menon, Director of Certis Realty, and Ashok Kurana, former member engineer DDA, are with me here in the studio to, of course, discuss this in further detail. Uh, explain to me, Kurana, sir, what is what does this mean? I mean, you know, it is so vague for, for the common viewer. What kind of land will get pooled together? It's a, any type of the land. It's a whole development. Whole development will take place. Now the problem right now. But is it is new land which is not developed. Yeah. Right it's now. It's a new land. It's new land new which land. maybe farmers are owning it, or could be small developers yeah. who would be owning it, that it land. It could be any, anyone. Mm -hmm. They have to pull the land and come to DDA. This is our pool land, ten hectare, two hectare, or twenty hectare. There are the different formulas of right. for the twenty hectare. Right. Then the. But because the starting will be development point is 2 hectare? Pardon. Starting point is 2 hectare. Two so, hectare. smallest holding or land pool which should be formed by the group of owners should be 2 hectare. Yes. Only then will DDA consider it as pooled land yeah. and then step in. Yeah. All right. Uh, Ramesh, why is it that it's been considered to be a much better way to move forward for creating new housing societies in, in the city compared to what was happening earlier where DDA was buying all the land? Three quick factors. One, uh, DDA, the devices model of land aggregation way back in the 60s. Mm -hmm. And the last time redundant. they... Yeah, last time they could successfully do for Rohini and Dwarka was in the 80s, early mm -hmm. 80s. Subsequently, it was getting difficult for DDA to buy land. Uh, pace of development could not uh, uh, keep up with the demography increase. And thirdly, the, the quality or standards of living that uh, people seek now. Mm -hmm. Uh, as more in line with what the private sector de uh, delivers rather than what, uh, what DDA, DDA delivers. delivers. All right. So in, in totality, uh, uh, you know, the land is becoming a very sticky subject and the political class also would like to stay away from the, the, the forceful uh, acquisition, acquisition of land. Of land. So uh, the, the LARR bill also, the technical committee or the expert body, moves from uh, acquisition to purchase. Hmm. Okay, uh, Kuran Saab, what I'd like to understand is that if it was becoming a sticky issue and farmers were complaining and we've had agitations beyond Rohini in some of the land yeah. acquisition cases, will it stop now? Is this a fair method? Do you think now farmers, because they're going to get back a large part of their land after redevelopment, will be more enticed and more encouraged to actually pool their land and come forward? Yeah, yeah. In the Southern part of India, it has happened also. The farmers have joined hands together and developed an area. Mm -hmm. Here also the farmers can join a hand and develop the area, but it will be as part of our master plan, which DD has established. All, right. All the road network to follow that. That's where the land pooling and the, some part, 40 to 60 percent goes back to the developer. Right. Whosoever is there, he can be a farmer also. Whosoever is there, society can be there. The rest uh, goes for the city level services no city is to be interconnected with the old city with the old so city. all the city level services will be provided from the balanced land okay even the pumping water pumping sewage pumping so it station. will come within the delhi municipality limits i think that's a in so which are these exciting areas which are going to come up so they are not going to be in the existing delhi right there is no it has to be beyond rohini beyond dwarka now new areas which are going to come yeah, up so we are actually abutting all these micro markets that you mentioned including south delhi so there is mm -hmm. going to be a large area in chhatarpur and vasant kunj that will also come under come 
these mm-hmm. uh, land pooling uh, policies as such and uh, you're going to see a fair amount of development starting to happen all across Delhi as such mm-hmm. uh, but having said that I think it is it's still a good three to five years away mm-hmm. when you will see actually group housing units actually coming up okay. and and releasing enough supply in the Delhi uh, All right. In the Delhi Three city. to five years, are we being ambitious? Because the policy is called rolled out, Ramesh. But, uh, you know, looking at the track record of how development has happened, here you're trying to get consensus, you're getting landowners to pool land, then you have to negotiate. That's why All of those of things. Time. It will take time, isn't it? Are we being ambitious by saying in five, maybe five uh, years I, things I will start easing I tend to up? agree with Samir that the supply of large uh, domestic residential units will hit the market in three to five years. Hmm. Having said that, you know, it will be large supply. If you look at the track record of uh, DDA, the typical supply released every year was about eight to 10,000 dwe- uh, dwelling units, mm. which was not even uh, one-seventh of what the, the demand uh, surge was. Right. Uh, in three to five years, if we can release a supply of more than two and a half to three lakh dwelling units a mm. year, mm. that will be a very, very positive step. Mm. Let's not also forget that Delhi would add a population of another crore and 10 lakhs over the next uh, 10 years. So we need to factor. Scary figures, very scary figures. Yes. Uh, Kurana Saab, do you think that DDA is geared up to now follow it in spirit? Because, you know, one is that you have a policy. You do know that this policy is, the earlier policy is redundant. It's a 1961 policy. But then the things that are being spoken about, a single window clearance, getting all decision makers to come together and make sure this process moves faster. You've been part of DDA. Do you think that they're geared up? And there is a change and shift in mind? There is a change in shift in mind. That's why the policy has come. Mm. The main is that now the rules to be framed under the policy. Now policy has been cleared at the stage one. Mm. If there is a public objections and views are to be invited. Okay. Then it will be again go back to the authority with those views and objections. Then it will be approved by the authority goes to ministry notified as a policy. Then the main is the rules and regulation how the policy is to be implemented. The most Typical and difficult part will be the land pooling where the land resource will be managed. If uh, some farmer has a area group of farmers of four five hectares and all is falling in the green belt shown in the master plan. Hmm. Now they are to be compensated against mm-hmm. that. Yes, absolutely. So that will be compen- they will be compensated from the land pool already created. Hmm. So who will managing that land pool and how it is to manage? I would request that this should be fair. It should be open. It should be on the internet available. It should be all computerized. Hmm. It should not be through the the files. It should not happen through the files. Yeah. It should be all open. Then the yes, you will have the lot of supply. The DDA, the Delhi will not be dearth of the supply of the housing units. All right. Eventually, if all pans out well, of course, I know that the current Mm -hmm. minister Kamal Nath and uh, also the lieutenant general have been supporting it and that's the reason why we've got a change hopefully they would like to fast track it before the 2014 election have all the rules in place as well Sameer but uh, do you think that in five to seven years we can really hope for some kind of price moderation in the Delhi's real estate market? I would completely agree with you in fact uh, I think one of the biggest reasons why Delhi has already witnessing price drops Hmm. is because a lot of money right now is getting uh, getting going into buying land parcels in these agricultural areas to be launched for group housing projects or farmhouse projects at right now as of right now so we are already seeing prices drop in delhi mm. and once these projects start to come up there'll be luxury projects uh, ultimate uh, super luxury living will also get announced through many developers like dlf and IDO who own large parcels of land already in these areas you will definitely see a price drop is there any hope? Okay, you have a point, then I'll ask my uh, it's question. It's not just 2014 elections, also 2013 when the Delhi state goes to Delhi the Delhi state goes, that's end of, that's November. That's end of this so, year. Yeah, yeah, so that's just, uh, <laughs> even before that, we will probably, there'll be a rush to actually bring all the rules in place. But tell me, what happens to the current Delhi, which is also reeling under a lot of pressures, which essentially means that you need it higher FSI, you need to probably break down ex- existing DDA colonies and probably have high rise in their places. Is there a plan any time to do all of yeah, those things? So that's a very herculean task and let's not go there. The Delhi master plan definitely does have a redevelopment uh, or incentivized oh, okay. redevelopment plan for the existing uh, parts of Delhi. Uh, 
they are incentivizing by a higher FAR to the tune of 50% of what is allowed today. Mm. Uh, but what is more critical is not the uh, uh, trickles of supply that will be generated from the redevelopment. But big uh, massive You supply. have to have a big it's surge so of supply for the prices and to so actually So many private develop. developers now who own land parcels here, you don't really need to bother about bother redevelopment about in colonies. Delhi. Okay, alright, fair enough. So, very critical policy. Kurana Saab, thank you very much.